You're listening to episode 751 of the Father Bills Podcast. Welcome back. This week's episode is entitled Wheat or Weeds, given on the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time, 2020. This weekend, we continue to hear parables from Jesus. This time, the story involves wheat and weeds. Clearly, it's not good to be the weeds, and I've never liked pulling weeds in any kind of garden, so if you ever need gardening, talk to someone else. God wants us all to be wheat. Christ came to give us eternal life with him, and through the gospel to be transformed into wheat. For when the harvest comes at the end of our lives, or the end of the world, our eternal destiny will depend on whether we are wheat or weeds. Well, can we know who the weeds and the wheat are as we sit here in this church today? The answer is, of course, no. We might think we can, but such judgment is for God alone, for who can know our hearts fully? We can barely know ourselves. We read elsewhere in John 5, 24, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and, I will, not, and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. The word hear in this text, the Greek, speaks sim- is more than just simply hearing, but it connotes active listening, understanding, Heeding and obeying. By this kind of hearing, we can become wheat, even if we are weeds today. In John 6, verse 40, we read, For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. See, the goal for Christ is to bring us to eternal life. And in verse 51, we hear, I am the bread, the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. So we are called to listen, obey, to see, to believe, and to eat the word who is Christ himself. So when you receive the wheat of Christ who is present in the Eucharist this day, remember the word that was spoken today. Believe. Receive Jesus into your heart once again and live in obedience to God's loving plan in your life. This is how we can become wheat that will last unto eternal life. Thank you again for listening to this episode of the Father Bills Podcast. Uh, We had some sound issues in that recording, and I don't know what was going on. I talked to our sound engineer. There was a bell sound, a ringing, and we turned everything else down. So something had been changed. We didn't know what it was, but I apologize if it sounded a little annoying. Um, Luckily, it was a short homily, about four minutes, right? (laughs) Well, okay. Anyhow, so if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to go to my website, fatherbill.org, F-R-B-I-L-L.org. And there you can email me. You can see what's going on on Facebook. I just published uh, or shared something from uh, Bishop Robert Barron that I found very profound uh, regarding the, the removal of a St. Junipero Serra um, statue in California, as well as uh, just the um, experience of someone that becomes un- unbelieving. 
And uh, there was a recent Christian artist who uh, was a lead of a, a band, a, ro- a Christian rock band, and decided he did not believe anymore in God. So um, I recommend you go to the Facebook page of uh, my Father William Holtzinger, uh, or you can go to the St. Anne uh, Catholic Church of Grants Pass Facebook page, and I posted it both those two things there. In the meantime, uh, may God bless you, and have a great week, and be safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>